everybody, Ann here, just sitting inside the tiny house having my coffee. I've already done chicken chores. It's like 19 degrees outside. I woke up this morning, and boy, oh boy, it was cold inside this tiny house. I mean, it was the coldest it's felt in a long time. So I started a fire, and it's like 60 degrees in here now. But I'm looking over there at that insulation, and you know what? It's calling me. It's calling my name. So... I'm going to get as much of that done today as possible, for reals. Oh my gosh, look at all that insulation she got put up. All right, just to give you reference of where I'm at, I'm sitting here in my chair. And so the row started, let's see, it started right here. That's where it cut off. So I got that whole roll done. And then another whole one. Let's see, yeah, let me point at it right another whole row this way and I'm going to try and pan slowly so I can get over there and then one more and I did overlap quite a bit more than I needed to just because I knew I was going to have to put up another strip that way but I got it all the way over to there <laughs> and that's a last 50 foot roll that I have so I've just got that one little part to do and then one more strip on the funny part because it's like bent and that's kind of tricky to do it. So it takes a little bit more insulation. You got to kind of angle it and staple it funny. But um, yeah, I think one more roll will do. That ladder, you guys, that ladder was amazing. I could get it into all sorts of different shapes so I didn't have to like move furniture around. In fact, I put it up on furniture. Some of the times I shortened one leg and just was able to kind of use it that way. But I gotta tell you too, when I was up there towards the top, it got hot. Oh my gosh, I was roasting. I had to take off my little sweatshirt thingy, but I did it and I feel more at peace. <laughs> I will feel more even so at peace once I get the rest of it done, but I gotta tell you, it's definitely making a difference and with the dropping temperatures that are coming, I need to get this done, so this is going to make a difference. Yeah, I'm pretty jazzed about that. Um, I can already tell a difference. I already can. So I'm just going to make me a pot of beans. And uh, so I'm soaking some beans. And I like mixed beans. I get a bunch of different beans and I mix them all up. Um, I'm just going to let them soak for a while. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is just put them on the stove. Uh, they've been soaking for a little while. And uh, cook me a pot of beans. And for my beans, first, you see that? Banner sausage. I'm going to open this can and show you what it looks like. It's horrible stuff. You can't put it with eggs. It shows you making little patties. There is no way, no conceivable way to make patties with this stuff. You just can't do it. But um, it makes a nice flavoring for a pot of beans. So let me open this up and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like. See that? Yep. That is banner sausage. It's just like a... Uh, it's questionable whether or not it's meat, but I do like the flavor of it in a pot of beans. I mean, it's it's been around forever. Um, I cannot use it for anything else except for in beans. I've tried it in, with eggs. It made it gross. I've tried to make patties using like oats and, you know, beat up egg and different kinds of stuff in it. It does not hold together. But if you brown it very well um, and then add your beans to it, it makes a nice flavor for a pot of beans. So that's what I'm going to do. Look at it sizzle. Yeah, I've seen cat food that looks better than this, but I promise you the flavor is good. So since the puppies aren't going to be eating any of this, I'm going to add some dehydrated onion, minced onion, some dehydrated, oh no, this might be freeze-dried garlic flakes, and I'm just going to mix that up into it. You'll see how watery this gets and stays. I mean, it basically never gains any form. Um, it's just got a lot of fat in it. It does have some protein in it, and it's got a whole lot of flavor. So uh, these dehydrated garlic and onions will kind of start softening it up a little bit. But this is way far from being browned. So while we're waiting for that horrible stuff to brown, but it smells really, really good, you guys. I'm going to show you what else I'm going to put in it. I'm going to put some Augustin Farms cross-cut celery that's been dehydrated. Here, let me open up this can and show you what it looks like. 
See that? That's just what it looks like. Looks like that. And it rehydrates very nicely. And I don't pre-hydrate it. I just go ahead and put it in the pot and then add more water for whatever else I'm using. And I'm going to put some cumin, some turmeric, some chili powder, some Mother Earth dried bell peppers. These are just dehydrated. And Mother Earth products, dried jalapeno peppers. And then, of course, the beans. And one or two of my cayenne peppers kind of cut up. This is just about ready. See that? It has lost some of its moisture. It's kind of crumbly. Some of it's kind of browned. Um, so it's just about ready to go. Um, so what I'm going to do, since this is cast iron, and an old lady that I used to take care of as a nurse told me, don't pour cold water or cold stuff into a hot cast iron skillet because she says it'll crack it. And I've always kind of followed her rules. So I got a can of tomato sauce, and I'm heating that up right now. And once it's kind of heated up, I'm going to pour it on in there because it won't be cold. It'll be kind of lukewarm. And then um, I'll be able to put the beans in there and just let them cook for a long, long time along with everything else. See that? It's kind of like just crumbly, almost crispy. That's how much I like to cook it. And it's taken about, I would say, 30 minutes. So now the tomato sauce is ready to go in. It is heated up sufficiently, and I'm just going to dump everything else in there. There go the beans. The jalapeno peppers. Dehydrated bell peppers. The dehydrated celery. Two of my cayenne that I've chopped up. Chili powder. Just however much I think I need. Puppies want to go out. In a minute, puppies. Some turmeric. <laughs> yeah, that's enough. Some cumin. And I think that's it. It doesn't need any salt because the sausage has enough salt in it. I'm just going to stir this up and let it cook. And I will likely have to add more water. I may go ahead and do that right now. I may just let it go for a little bit because these beans are not soaked for very long. But this is going to cook all day. It should be ready. Oh, Probably in about four or five hours. Ain't that a beautiful sight? It might be messy, but it's beautiful to me. It is freezing cold outside, but I'm in here warm and toasty. I even got a window cracked, and those beans smell wonderful. So while I'm waiting for those beans to get done, I'm just going to admire my handiwork. And you know what? I know some of you may want to watch me, like, doing stuff and putting stuff up, but... You know what? I got to tell you, it, when I do stuff, I'm a train wreck. I am not an example of how to do things. You know, if I people could watch me and I would become the laughing stock of YouTube because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to think that I'm trying to set an example for people. Oh, the sun's starting to shine. Oh, that's cool. Anyhow, um, I don't want people to watch me and think that that's the way... I think it's supposed to be done because no, I'm still learning how to do stuff. I'm learning new techniques. And while I'm learning, I don't want to, I don't want to put myself out there um, because, you know, people do ridicule you if you look like you don't know what you're doing. And that's the last thing people come to the internet for is to watch somebody do something that doesn't know what the heck they're doing because, you know, the internet can be cruel. So until I feel like I'm an authority on something or I really am confident in what I'm doing, I'm just going to kind of, um, you know, show you the before and after effect. Anyhow, I want to see if I've got stuff to make cornbread. Hmm. I do. I do. I have corn muffin mix. And all I need to add to this is two-thirds cup of milk. Got it. And an egg. Totally got it. I'm mixing it up. And you know what? I want to try some of this Oxen Farms freeze-dried shredded Colby cheese. I've used it many times before and I really love it. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of that down in there and see how that works out. I think we need a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit extra fluid because I'm adding this. This is nice and hot. Yes, it looks terrible, but I've scrubbed and scrubbed and that's the best I can do. It's been heated up over the stove. I've sprayed Pam in it. And now I'm just going to get this all in here. I didn't want to do this over the wood-burning stove. So let me just scrape all that in there and put it on the stove. 
there we go folks oh please let this work it's been a while since i've used this bread maker so let me shut it and carry it on over to the stove there it is i'm gonna let it cook for gosh i don't even remember how long i think it's a, a, like seven minutes so i'm gonna let it go seven minutes open it up and see if it's ready to flip let's take a look folks i don't know it looks like it's ready to go um I, i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna flip it let's see if i can do this with one hand no, I'm afraid. I'm just going to put this down and flip it and see what happens. It's been flipped. Oh, gosh. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know. Perfect. Almost perfect. There's just one little piece that is that got stuck. This is great. All right. I'm going to close it and give it a couple more minutes. Two minutes are up. This is the scariest part. All right. Let me flip this. Hopefully, hopefully it's done. Let's open it up. Please, 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 please. Whoa, it's perfect. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, well, I'm going to take it over to the kitchen and let it cool for a little bit. I might get a rack out and um, let it cool before I slice it up. And here is my dinner. Oh, doesn't that look good? I think it looks good. And look at that. Look at that cornbread. I've also got a couple pieces sliced up down in the bottom of that. But it has cheese in it. Let me take a taste. Mmm. That's pretty good. Pretty gosh darn good. Let me taste the chili. Mm-hmm. Pot of beans, whatever. Mm. that is good very good thumbs up it is dark yeah i could turn on another light but i kind of like it this kind of like low ambient lighting anyhow all the chickens have been put to bed they all went up there in their coops like good little chickens and so now i'm just gonna sit here and eat my dinner and enjoy it mm. this stuff is good especially with the cheese Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.